Hi, it's Kerry. I'm showing you Schleich's Farm World Barn. It comes with lots of accessories and a pig, cow and a calf. I really like this barn because there are so many things you can do with it. I really like the rope winch. It's fun to use and I think the cow massage machine is awesome. This is the rope winch and you can move it around inside the barn to different areas. The farmer, his hands hold the wheelbarrow and also other things. The tire moves there and he's got potatoes in his wheelbarrow. This might just look like straw to you, but have a look at this. Use the pitchfork and in you go. How good is that? Let's feed the cows. The calf looks hungry. Give a thumbs up if you like farm animals. I like the way that door slides and opens. It's really good. I'm going to winch that hay up again. It helps to load hay up to the top section of the barn for winter. Subscribe to be the first to know about my videos. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Now you can see these shut. And let's see if the bottom door shut well. That one first. Click in. That's really good. I'm going to open them up to let a bit more light in. The pig. The pig snout is its most important tool for sensing what is around them and for finding food. Their feet are called trotters. Pigs have four toes on each hoof but only walk on two toes per foot. Pigs don't have sweat glands. Ah, she's found something there. I think she's after my apples. So they roll around in the mud to cool their skin. The layer of dried mud protects their skin from the hot sun. And she's got a cabbage to eat. That looks good, doesn't it? The cemental cow. Cows have a good temperament and high milk production, although they can be aggressive when protecting their calves. They have white markings on the belly, chest, head and body. Notice the tail switch and legs are white. The cemental cattle have dark, large pigmented eye patches and horns. I think she's looking for her calf. Today's question is, Ask me a question. I will try to answer as many as I can. Calves are often born at yearly intervals. The mother cow is a good milk producer, which can be seen by the size of her udder. The calves are able to grow rapidly when put out to pasture. that comes with this red bucket and that black part there is a feeder for the calves. So we're looking at one side here and looking in there. There's lots of things to see. I'll take the roof off later and you'll get a better look. Here's the other side. I love these flower boxes. I'm going to move those flowers later so I can use them. There's a fence here, but I haven't put all the strings on it. You can see the packet of string there. I'm going to use some of my other fencing that I've got. The roof lifts off very easily and can provide shelter for the animals in bad weather. I 
quite like the versatility of this and the other section moves off as well so in another video I could just use those two red roof parts as shelters for the animals inside you can see the winch moves right around so I can move things around there's the cow massaging machine I think that's brilliant and I love that black mat on the floor to keep the cow's hooves dry we've got lots of area for stacking hay and extra pens and gates there this is the book that comes with it it shows you how to put it together it's quite easy to do but I did need some help from a friend here's my friend just gentle taps with a rubber mallet I also use scissors to open up the plastic packets there was lots of them I'm going to put the roof back on now it's pretty easy and here's my tractor that's going in as well I'm going to set up some pens here for some more animals it's not really where I would place it but I, I want to get up close to the animals so you can see them so we've got the farmer kittens donkeys and you can see the cow and the calf there in the background roosters another rooster and a chicken and we've got sheep goats ah oh, my border collie Sam pigs Margaret who collects eggs I really like the Hungarian pig and a cow and a bull and calf and my mother pig has just given birth and she's got four little piglets suckling off her there So I've added more animals to the farm. Ah, cats like hunting mice and rats. They also love playing. This is so cute. And if you look carefully, you can see the kitten's face under the mat. So gorgeous. Provence donkey is a breed of domestic donkey from Provence in southeastern France. They have been used by shepherds as pack animals and to move flocks of sheep between their summer pastures on the high alps to the lower winter grounds. Males are called jacks and females jennies. The feet with rather wide hooves for those of a donkey are perfectly adapted for trekking and heavy weights. Donkeys make a loud braying hee haw noise that goes on for several seconds. Donkeys eat grains and grass. Notice the darker dorsal stripe and shoulder stripe in the shape of a cross. We'll have a look at that on the baby donkey. The donkey foal. It can stand and nurse from its mother just 30 minutes after birth. Females tend to give birth to a new foal each year. Donkeys are related to horses, ponies and zebras. You can see the cross on its back there. Notice they have much larger ears and white around the eyes. This is the farmer's daughter Ellie. She loves to work on the farm and offers treats to the animals. It looks like the donkeys are getting extra carrots today. This is my new rooster. An adult male chicken is called a rooster. They are larger than hens and usually more brightly colored and have large combs on top of their heads. They scratch and claw at the ground looking for food.
This is my Hungarian pig. It's also known as Mangalika or Mangalitsa. It has a thick coat of curly fur or hairy fleece that makes it look much like a sheep. It's one of my favorite pigs. It was originally bred for its lard or fat. With their warm woolly coats, the Hungarian pig can live outdoors all year long. As the pigs age, the fat content of the meat rises. There are three main varieties, the only difference being the color of their fur. <coughs> the baby goat, a goat kid. Female goats give birth to one or two offspring in the spring. Within minutes of being born, the kids are up and walking around. At three to four months, the kids are weaned and able to look after themselves. This is so cute with a little bell around its neck and notice the little horns on top of its head. <coughs> this is a domestic goat, a white nanny goat. A female is called a doe or a nanny goat. Goats are herbivores. They have very sharp teeth and can demolish vegetation very quickly. Their favourite fruit is grass. Many domestic goats will also eat trash, houseplants or any other items they find lying around. They have beards or tassels under the chin. <coughs> the Shropshire sheep. They have no horns. It's a breed of domestic sheep originating from the hills of Shropshire and North Staffordshire in England during the 1840s. They are bred for their wool and meat. They are able to adapt to all kinds of pasture land, variable climate and having quite oily wool. They have wool from the tip of the nose to the tip of the toes. The fleece is dense and elastic to the touch and good quality. The Shropshire Lamb. They are hardy and strong, vigorous and grow very quickly. The Shropshire ewes make excellent mothers, generally long-lived, milky and prolific. They can successfully rear twins or single lambs over a long period of time. He's such a cutie. This is Margaret. She looks after the chooks. She collects eggs and makes sure they have water and food every day. She loves her job and the chickens love her too. And here's a few of the baby chickens. This is the Brahmin bull. Brahmin cows are the sacred breed of India and are very hardy and adaptable to a wide range of feed and climate. They are large bodied with a hump on their back where the neck ends. They have a small head with a broad forehead. The ears are large and drop downwards and the muzzle is black. They are easily recognized by the excess skin on the neck, throat and underbelly. This is the Brahmin cow. They have dark skin which prevents their skin being affected by sunlight and the short thick glossy coat helps reflect the sun's rays. They have sweat glands and are able to withstand extreme heat. They have panoramic vision and a superior sense of smell. This is the Brahmin calf. Calves are noted for gaining weight fast. They will consistently gain more weight per day than most other breeds. A Brahmin cow gives milk for the first time after giving birth to a calf. The calves do very well. Here's my mother pig. She's just given birth to four piglets 
the feeding from her. They look very healthy. I've put her in a separate pen so she doesn't get pestered by the other animals. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Ah, remember to ask me any questions that you have. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture. Please subscribe, share and like. Thank you.